Let us do one more illustration this third topic for this session to make us more understand what is cost of capital all about. Now, keeping in mind for cost of capital we need two things we need is proportions and individual cost. So the following information is available from the balance sheet of a company. Equity share capital 20,000 shares of rupees 10 which is how much 2 lakh. Reserves and surplus 1,30,000, 8% debentures 1,70,000. Rate of tax of the company is 50%. Current level of equity dividend is 12%. Calculate the weighted average cost of capital using the above figures. Right? Now, let us see what all sources we have. We have equity shares. Reserves and surplus are what? Retained earnings, debentures. Right? Now, what do we need? We need is the proportion and cost. So, let us find out the first thing, proportion. How much is the amount of equity? 2 lakh. Retained earnings 1 lakh 30. Debentures are 1 lakh 70. If you add them up, how much you get? 5 lakh. So, how much will be the proportion of equity? 2 lakh divided by 5 lakh into 100, which gives you 40%. Reserves is 1 lakh 30,000 divided by 5 lakh into 100, which gives you 26%. Debentures is 1 lakh 70,000 divided by 5 lakh into 100, which gives you 34%. We got the proportion. If you want to cross check your answer, proportion summing up should come to 100%. Multiply by the cost now. Equity cost, if you see current level of equity dividend is 12%. So cost of equity is how much? 12% equity shares expectations is how much? How much dividend we need to pay to them? It's already calculated, you don't have to work out. For simplicity purpose, we just calculated and gave it to you. Dividend is 12%. So cost of equity is 12%. We have seen cost of equity is always equal to cost of retained earnings. So reserves and surplus cost will be how much? 12% again. Debentures are 8%, right? Now, when debentures are 8%, we know interest is tax deductible. Tax rate is 50%. So, 8 into 50% gives us how much? 4%, right? Now, keeping that in mind, can we find cost of capital? Yes. Proportion into cost. 40% into 12%, 26% into 12%, 34% into 4%. If you multiply, add them up. At the end, you get the final cost of capital, how much? 9.28%. So, raise 5 lakh, how much return I need to give completely to all the investors is 9.28%. And that is how we compute this cost of capital. Proportion into individual cost as such.